I'm Wahida Khan. I'm doing my uh, B. Ed. and I've done my MA. My question is, why do the Muslims offer Salah in Arabic when they do not understand it? Will it not be preferable to offer Salah in a local or a regional language? Mm -hmm. The sister has posed the question that when most of the Muslims don't understand Arabic, won't it be preferable to offer Salah in the local or regional languages? Won't that be better? Sister, if for the sake of argument, if I agree with you, that let's offer Salah in the local language. So in Bombay, there will be few people who will say, let's offer in English. Few may say Urdu. Few may say Hindi. Some may say Gujarati. There will be and in fighting. Even if we come to a common opinion and agree that let's say in Masjid number one, Mosque one, we offer Salah in English. Mosque two in Urdu. Mosque three in Hindi. Mosque four in Gujarati and so on and so forth. Again, there will be confusion and fighting. Some may say that in Masjid number one, where you're offering Salah in English, we will follow the translation of Allama Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Some may say we will follow translation of Pikthal. Some may say Maulana Abdul Majid Daryabadi. Others may say Mohsin Khan. Again, they'll be fighting. Even if we agree that, okay, let's follow one particular translation. Yet, the translation sister is a human handiwork. It cannot substitute the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the word of the Prophet. And in translation, there can be mistakes. And if there are mistakes, this mistake will be attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, if you're offering Salah Majid number two, where they're offering in Urdu. And suppose the Imam recites Surah Luqman, chapter 31, verse 34. And if you read the translation, most of the Urdu translations, they translate this verse of the Holy Quran as no one besides Allah has the knowledge of the sex of the child in the mother's womb. If you check the Arabic text, the Arabic word sex is not there in the Quran. It's the own interpretation of most of the Urdu translators. And if a doctor is offering Salah, he will start thinking that what kind of a prayer is this that no one besides Allah knows the sex of the child in the mother's womb. Today we know by ultrasonography, we can very well identify sex of the child. He will start doubting. So therefore, you cannot read the translation. Because if you read the translation, and if you commit any mistake, the mistake will be attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if it's the verse of the Holy Quran, or to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa if it's a hadith. And the translation cannot complete the full meaning. It can help you in somewhat knowing the meaning to help you to concentrate. For example, since I'm a person who keep on traveling. If I go to France, according to your logic, the Salah has to be offered in French. If the Salah has to be offered in French, but naturally even the Adhan should be in French. So if I go to France and the Muazzin gives the Adhan in French, I'll be wondering who is he cursing. And if I go to the mosque and attend the Salah, it will be in French. I will wonder whether the Imam is praising Allah or telling a story in French. So if the Salah is in Arabic, irrespective whether I, as an Indian, who don't know French or German, if I go to Germany or France or Spain or any part of the world, if I offer Salah, I will at least know what I'm offering and I will know its meaning. And the Arabic Adhan is the international anthem of the Muslims throughout the world. International anthem of the Muslims throughout the world. He may belong to any part. He may belong to any part of the world. He will surely understand the meaning of that Adhan. It's an international anthem. Therefore, sister, the best advice is that we Muslims should learn the language of the Holy Quran. If we don't know Quranic Arabic, then we should at least know the meaning, the translation, in the language you understand the best of those verses you read in the Holy Quran so that you will be able to derive the benefits of the Salah. Hope that answers the question.